about auras. We have Roger Ringo here from Modern mm -hmm. Spiritual Living, and well, apparently we all have an aura, and the color of an aura, of our aura means certain things. Well, it absolutely does, Lou. Uh, the aura is just an energy field that is around each of us. Everyone has an aura, and the aura is a really a, an indication of the fact that there's a, a life force within each of us. Some people call it the soul or the energy or the life force, but because there's this energy within, we have this magnetic field or aura uh, that's around each of us that you can actually actually sense, you know, feel and, and you know, experience. And it's a common experience really that everyone has, mm. but many times you don't realize it. Now, you need special glasses to see this aura? Well, uh, not really. You no. don't need the 3D pictures. But uh, uh, for one example, many times you may be in the uh, in a, uh, grocery store and you're standing in the checkout line and there's no one behind you, let's say, and then all of a sudden you kind of feel something. You get this sense that something's there behind you and you turn around and there's a person. Well, this is an indication of their aura kind of starts interacting mm -hmm. with your aura and you, your body senses it. And so you, uh, we have this experience every day, but a lot of times we just uh, don't think that much about it. No, what is it? it? Is it a halo? Is it like a, around your body? What is it? Yes, it's, it's not really a halo. It's actually around uh, the entire body uh, because our life force is within uh, the what entire body. What if you have clothes on? It, it goes through the clothes. Okay. It's kind of like radar. All right. <laughs> and so then, uh, because of who we are as personalities and our uniqueness, that uh, frequency of that aura is a little different for each of us. And there's a color that's a, a dominant or predominant color within each uh, person's aura, which is actually an indication of our personality and certain positive traits and qualities. Now, does it change with your mood or your attitude? Well, it doesn't, it can change a little bit, but who I am at that core really doesn't change much over time. How can you tell what somebody's um, color is? Well, there's people who are trained who can kind of uh, see with that third eye or that uh -huh. ESP sense. There's also cameras that's been developed, really? aura cameras. Huh. But a simple way for people to learn about colors and the aura is, is actually those colors that I really like and enjoy and have a strong affinity with is an easy way that everyone can know what they're... Uh, okay, can they're you colored. look at Jason right now and tell us what, what aura he is? Well, Jason... Caffeine. <laughs> the caffeine. <laughs> Jason has that purple type of aura. Vikings, right. go Vikes, that's right. That's okay, right. so he's, he's, he's Vikings down deep. Yeah. Okay, so what does purple mean? So purple means... Uh, that's an indication that someone likes to be very creative. They tend to have off-the-wall ideas. That's him. <laughs> very untraditional. That's you know, him. If you really get to know Jason behind the scenes, he's probably a very unusual, has very unusual interests, and uh, really enjoys being creative in unconventional ways. That's... Well, I guess that's right, yeah. yeah. Okay, what about Suzette? What does she look... What, what she... Well, Suzette's a little more challenging. I knew this. This is what happens anytime you, somebody me. says, what do you think? And then it's always like, well. Well, there yeah. we go. But actually, Suzette's really? a little tricky to figure out because she's really a green. It's okay. not easy being green. It's okay. not easy being green. Hmm. Green is actually in the middle of the spectrum. You know, if you look okay. at the colors of the rainbow and the colors of the aura, they follow that particular pattern. Green is in the middle. And that means Suzette relates easily to all kinds of people. <gasps> that is true. She can uh, relate to those analytical, structured kinds of people, as well as the off-the-wall Jason type. Mm -hmm. and we so like them. She has a lot of diverse friends. Okay. Now, what other colors are prominent when you're, when you're looking for them? Well, the other colors that uh, is normally seen is the color blue. Mm -hmm. And this is a person who has a very calming, soothing effect. They like to work with details. They like to work with their hands. Uh, another trait is they're very patient. And that's the person that you may know that they just have the ability to patiently work very methodical. They don't get riled. They don't get flustered. Um, so it's very detail-oriented. And they kind of have that healing, soothing effect mm. on people. Okay. And then red, which you might like, Lou. Okay. Red is the color of someone who is very straightforward, very honest. They like their information in... Uh, 
uh, bullet points, mm -hmm. very factual, very straightforward, and they have a way of just innately inspiring people up to their up to their level. That's one of the two what we call the leadership gifts. Oh. They like to be in charge. A red person, if they're on a committee or a group of people and things are floundering, it's the red person who always seems to jump to the front, take charge, and help give the uh, group direction. And get the job done. Yes. Okay. Now. Yellow is another interesting color, and this is the color which you're wearing today, mm -hmm. Suzette, and it's that color of the cheerful, positive uh, personality. It's the person who uh, always sees the positive in everyone. So it's also the person who uh, likes a neat, attractive, clean environment. A yellow person, when you look at their desk, it's always very well neat and uh, organized. You so know, that's not, we know that's not Jackie. She's not, no, here. She's <laughs> not yellow at all. You know, the purple and blue people, when you look at their desk, they tend to be a little more cluttered, but don't touch their system. Because they know where everything is. Well, yeah, they know where okay, everything so we have, is. We have, we have purple, we have green, and what was mine? Uh, I think you're more of a red person. Yeah, I would person. Agree. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm a skeptic of all this, and, and I, I mean, I say that respectfully, but you're seeing this with your, with your eyes, or? Well, in this context, Actually, seeing the aura around a person's head is one of the most uh, challenging and difficult skills or abilities. What I do is when I tune into a person's aura, I, uh, I get this word or picture uh, in my mind's eye. And so that's how the impression comes okay. to me. Yeah. Well, let's go. Now, you have something coming up uh, on Saturday in case people are interested in learning more about this, right? That's right. If people would like to actually experience and learn more about mm -hmm. these kinds of topics in the Aura, I'll be uh, having a program. You can find that uh, the detailed cool. information on my website, modernspiritualliving.com. Uh, I live here in Des Moines and Good. with my wife. And one of the interesting aspects is we use all this in our daily life. And that's what uh, I enjoy about this aspect of what you might say modern spiritual living is how to take spirituality and make it practical mm -hmm. and actually useful. And color and the aura is one aspect of it that uh, seems to work. All right, what time is your event coming up this weekend? Uh, it's gonna be at one o'clock mm -hmm. on uh, Saturday afternoon up at the uh, Holiday Inn North on uh, Merle Hay Road. Excellent. Oh, okay. This right. would take people watching to a whole new level. No That'd question. Awesome. Well, it is. And what's, what's kind of a fun thing is if you ask people, what's your favorite color, you know? And when they say, oh, I really love red or I really love purple, that gives you a hint or a, kind of a, an indication into some core fundamental aspects of their personality. Hmm. Okay, Tom the cameraman. Tom the camera. Oh, he's he's, he's black. He's okay. His aura is he's black. No, actually, Tom's more of a blue. Ooh. He's a blue. I mean, in spite of the fact that he's wearing a blue shirt, mm -hmm. but he's just that patient, you know, kind of a guy. And he's the Mr. Dependability. You know, well, you can yeah. always count on him having it all together. All right. Very good. Interesting. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. All right. So again, the website to get more information about the event coming up on Saturday, one o'clock holiday in over on Merle Hay Road would be uh, your website. www.modern spiritualliving.com. Beautiful. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate you taking time. Well, thank time. you for thank having you. me. Thank you, Roger. Good luck and enjoy your colors. Well, thank <laughs> you. It's 8.33. We'll be right back. You're watching Great